A desperate rescue mission has been playing out all day in one of the most remote locations on Earth. 154 passengers and crew on board a Canadian-owned adventure cruise liner forced to abandon ship after smashing into some ice near Antarctica's South Shetland Islands. The passengers, including a dozen Canadians, are now in Punta Arenas in Chile with an incredible tale of survival and luck. Here's Global National's Tara Nelson. She is nicknamed the Little Red Ship, her real name, the Explorer, the first expeditionary cruise vessel ever built. She regularly sails the Antarctic until today. The ship encountered um, some submerged ice and hit, hit some submerged ice, and the result was a hole in the hull about the size of your fist. This is the Explorer now, listing badly. The leak slow enough at first for the pumps to keep up, but not for long. It was soon abandoned by its more than 150 passengers and crew, 12 of them Canadian. They had enough time to prepare. They were well-dressed, properly clothed, and they knew to anticipate some time in the lifeboat. More than four hours until a Norwegian cruise ship answering their distress call could reach them. Uh, they was a little bit cold and wet, but uh, in good conditions. Uh, and uh, we have brought them aboard, bringing them uh, warm clothes and uh, food and accommodations, uh, so they are in good mood now. Almost 25,000 tourists travel to the Antarctic every year, and they go for one reason, the magnificent view. It was really surreal because you keep thinking, you know that globe? We're like right at the bottom. <laughs> Global BC reporters Elaine Yong and Aaron MacArthur traveled this exact route on this same vessel two years ago and couldn't imagine having to abandon ship in what can be treacherous seas and frigid temperatures. Mounting a rescue in that ocean would be as close to as impossible as you can get. That's two days sailing from South America. The sea is probably the most dangerous ocean in the world, the Drake Passage. Canadian Coast Guard Captain David Snyder says there's nothing about these conditions that's predictable. Certainly the biggest challenge is that it's uh, very much a seat of the pants. The ice conditions are quite uh, dynamic and can change not only day to day and week to week, but hour to hour. The rescued passengers are still aboard that cruise ship waiting to be flown to South America tomorrow. Tara Nelson, Global News.